Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about a new product from LA Girl. This is the Pro Face HD Matte Press Powder. You guys have probably seen it on their Instagram. It recently launched and they actually sent me a bunch of colors to try, so I thought I would do a demo on my YouTube channel on these pressed powders because I actually had a lot of questions about it, so you guys might have a lot of questions, so I figured I would try to answer those for you in this video. So anytime LA Girl comes out with new products, I get really excited because I have tried a lot of their products and I really like everything and it's pretty inexpensive and great quality. And when I saw these, I was kind of confused like what they were. Was this like a pressed foundation powder? Was this just a setting powder? Am I gonna get coverage? I couldn't really tell from the pictures and the description. I was still a little confused. So I thought I would try it myself and just kind of see how these things worked. Okay, first let's talk about the packaging. This is what the pressed powders come in. It's this cute little black, you know, paper box, like most makeup products come in. And I really like that you can get a good idea of what color you're getting because of the face of this powder. Also, there is a stripe on top that shows you the color, which I think is cool because when you think about it, if you lay your powders in your drawer, like I do, um, you know, you don't know what color it is. So it's cool that they have this little like ring around the packaging so you know exactly what color it is. I don't know, I think it's that small little detail that just makes a big difference. All right, so this is what it looks like outside the box. It's just kind of like an round, typical compact. So when you open it up, it has the powder right here. It's a pretty good amount. And then you can actually flip up the bottom and then you have this little compact mirror right here, which I think is cool. And then there's also this nice sponge underneath. There's also little holes so you can get a little air to your sponge so it doesn't like grow bacteria and get all gross in here. Um, so I think that was really nice. But I think the packaging is cool. The mirror is a good mirror. It's not like one of those clown mirrors that make you look awful when you look in the mirror. So that's a really nice feature. But overall, I really like the packaging. Okay, so this powder claims to be a long-lasting oil controlling powder. So, so far I am wearing it right now and I feel very matte, but in a really good way. I feel like I have great coverage and I feel very airbrushed looking. So I'm definitely digging how this powder is laying on the skin. Um, it's also a mattifying finish for a radiant look. So I don't know, I don't really get that. So it's matte, but it gives you a radiant look. Um, not really sure. I do feel like I have great coverage and I do feel airbrushed, like I said, but I don't know if I feel radiant, but I feel like the, the coverage that I get just makes me feel good and confident because I feel like everything is really covered. So this claims to help cover blemishes and imperfections. So you'll see in this video when I did do it just alone, this powder by itself, it didn't really cover the way I wanted it to cover, but when I laid it on top of a foundation, which they said you can do, um, it was awesome. So basically with this powder, you can wear it alone. You can get like about a sheer to medium coverage. They say it's pretty buildable. Um, so I could totally see it being sheer to medium coverage. Um, and then you can also get a really nice finish and full coverage when you lay it on top of a foundation, which I did, which you'll see me demo in the video. So that's how I personally would wear it. I wouldn't consider this a powder foundation where you can get like a full coverage instantly. It's gonna be more of a sheer to medium powder, which you could totally wear by itself um, if you have a couple like blemishes or imperfections, you might wanna use a concealer and maybe set it with this powder and I think it would be great. But for me, I like more of a full coverage look. So I would do a foundation and then set it with this powder. And it also says on the packaging that you can apply this with the sponge inside, hence why they included a sponge in there. I tried it both ways. So I tried it with a sponge and then I tried it with a flat top foundation brush and then I applied it with a big fluffy brush. And you'll see this in the video how it applies and I think you could use all three of those for the application and they both work really well. Just gives you different coverage, obviously. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about and kind of show you how I did the application. So when I first tried it, it was kind of hard to see what color I would be because I was given six different colors and um, I personally picked them. So I 
picked them based uh, off of the picture and the names. Because usually when it comes to the names of foundations or powders, I'm usually the same across the board. Doesn't really matter like what company or brand it is. They usually have very similar common names for foundations. So usually I'm more of a medium beige. That's kind of the foundation color that I wear with any brand. So I kind of went for that one. When I applied it, it was way too dark. Like when I applied it with a sponge, it went on very, very heavy. Um, so I feel like these powders run a little dark. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I am like super, super pale for me right now and I do not have my summer tan yet. I am pretty light for me. I'm usually pretty dark during summer, but I just don't have that tan going on yet. So I could be really light and that's probably why the powders ended up being really dark with all the, the powders that I chose. Um, so I would say maybe go down a shade. Um, like I said, it could be just me, but I feel like they run a little dark. I did get one of the darker colors. This is actually the darkest color that they have. This is Cocoa number 15. And this is pretty pigmented and pretty dark and like a gorgeous, like rich tone. So I think if you have a darker, richer complexion, I think that this would actually be a really nice setting powder for you or maybe just a light foundation powder. So the color range is pretty cool. They have um, 15 shades available, which I think is great. So you have a pretty good range to choose from. Um, they're really inexpensive too. They are, let me let me check my phone so I can get the right information for you. They're only $7, which is pretty cool. So you can actually get a couple of these and use it for a highlighter, a bronzer, a contour powder, and like an all over setting powder or kind of like a really, really light powder foundation. Um, so you can use these powders in many different ways and I kind of show you that in this video. So I'm going to stop talking right now and let's get into the demo so you guys can see how I actually used these matte powders. I first wanted to try it with the sponge and I applied medium beige but when I did it, it looked too heavy and it was way too dark. Then I decided to try warm honey on the other side and it just made me look way too muddy. It was almost too cool and it wasn't warm enough for me. So I took everything off and started all over again. Next I tried it with a flat top foundation brush. I figured with this technique you can build up the coverage and it might work as like a powder foundation, but it didn't give me the coverage that I wanted. I think this would be a good pressed powder if you wanted something sheer and lightweight and you didn't really need all that coverage, but after I blended everything out, I still noticed some of my scars and blemishes that peeked through that powder. So I took everything off again and I wanted to see how it would lay on top of a foundation. I'm going to start off by prepping my skin with the LA Girl Pro Prep HD Primer. This will create a base for the foundation and make sure the foundation does not settle in any pores and it will make things last so much longer. I just grabbed a random foundation for this look, but this is the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. I like to distribute the foundation around my face just by applying it with my finger. You know you're doing it right if you look like you have foundation chicken pox. Then I like to go back with a brush and blend everything out. Now I'm going to start to conceal and highlight on my face. So I'm using two concealers from LA Girl. I'm using the creamy beige first and then I'm going to go back with the classic ivory just to brighten things up even more. Now I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray and I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender. This is going to make the concealer blend out easier and also set it at the same time. Now moving on to the Buff Matte Powder and I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes or any areas where I use the concealer. I like to set it with a lighter color than my complexion to keep those areas bright and highlighted. Now I'm going to take Soft Honey with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to apply this to the areas where we did not highlight and this will just set the rest of my foundation. Out of all the colors, Soft Honey matched me the best.
Medium beige was a little dark for me, but I thought I would try it as a bronzer. So I'm using an angled face brush, and I'm gonna apply this to the outer areas of my face, like my temples, underneath my cheekbones, and also underneath my jaw. Then I took a little bit of chestnut, just the tiniest bit since this is a darker powder, and I used this for a contour color in the hollows of my cheeks. And here's a look at the before and after. What do you guys think? All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed that demo and kind of learned how you can use, you know, these matte powders and how I used it. I overall am really happy with these matte powders. They look amazing over a foundation if you want like a gorgeous a velvety matte finish. And I really like how they were, they ended up looking as like a bronzer, like a contour powder, a highlighter. I really, really like them. I need to personally tweak my color when it comes to like matching my skin tone. The one that I use in the video is a little dark for me, but I made it work um, just for the sake of this video. But in the end, I love these powders. I think they're awesome. I think the packaging is really good. I think the color range is awesome. The price is it's only seven bucks, which is pretty amazing. And I just like how they make my skin look. I just feel very matte, but in a good way. Like I said, I, it's more of a velvety finish and I feel like it would wear really well throughout the day. I am doing this video at night, so I'll probably leave. Oh, I have lipstick on my teeth. That's nice. I'll probably leave um, a comment below letting you guys know how this wears, um, you know, after I try it out and wear it for a little bit. Um, but overall, I love it. So that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want me to do more reviews in the future, just let me know down below if there's any other products you want me to review. Just let me know. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.